Welcome to a new video from Excel Data Analysis Series PQB or Power Query Basics. This video PQB06, we are going to see how we can connect to the web using Power Query. We are going to use Power Query to connect to finance.yahoo.com. We are going to extract the Google's historical share prices. We are going to transform the data using the Power Query Editor. Then we are going to load the transformed data to a table and we will use the amazing stock chart. And then we are going to see how we can refresh query to get the updated stock prices every day. And finally, we are going to see how we can copy the query, change the source and get Facebook historical share price in few seconds. So before jumping into Excel, let's have a look on the website that we are going to use or we are going to connect to using Power Query. Here you go. This is Yahoo Finance. And here is the URL that we are going to copy to use it in the Power Query. And you can see here the historical data of Google share price. You can see the data coming uh, in six or seven columns. On the left hand side, you have the date and then the open price, the high price, low price, close, adjusted close and finally the volume and you can see last date was 27 of December and you have the dates it's sorted like uh, descending as you can see here if you want to follow along while watching the video or even if you want to practice after watching the video please go down in the description section you will find the link please use it to download the excel file and also use the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified with the new videos in excel because we are going to extract data from an external source so we are going to start from a new workbook a blank workbook as you can see here and we know that power query is in the data ribbon so we're going to select the data ribbon on the left hand side we have the get and transform section we are going to use the get data and we are going to select this time from other sources and then from web it will trigger a small window asking you what is the exact url that you want to use to extract data you can either write in this small window or you can just paste the URL and here you go. This is the URL and then I'm going to click OK. It will open the Power Query Navigator. On the left hand side, you can see the name of the URL or the name of the website and then you can see the content of the website. We have like one document and one, two, three, for table i think our data in table 2 once i select table 2 on the right hand side you can see a preview of your data you can also go to the web view here so you can view the data in the website to make sure that you are in the correct place inside this website and you can see here here our data and from table view you can view your data we are going to select transform so we can do some transformation inside the power query editor on the right hand side you have the query settings first section is the name of the query and you can see the name is table 2 which is not a good name because we have to give a meaningful name so let me call it google share price and enter and below you can see the applied steps we have three steps first one is the source here is the content of the website and the navigation step when we selected the data from table 2 containing the historical data of the share price and finally change type when excel try to discover the correct data type for each column i think the automatic data type change is not bad i have the date in date format and the other numbers in 1.2 meaning that it is a decimal number and finally the volume one to three meaning that it's whole number which also i think it is okay and now i want to do some transformation let's start from the date i have the date in descending order i will select this arrow on the right hand side it will open the filter view it is pretty much similar to what we have in the normal excel and i'm going to select sort ascending here you go the data is now sorted correctly also i need to have the month name extracted in a separate column because when i put this on a chart it will not be easy to read the entire uh, data together so let me 
uh, select this column and from add column I can go directly to from date and time I will select date and then month and from month I'm going to select month name it will create a new column on the right hand side and you can see the new step applied here the applied step is recorded here and also I need to take this column to the left so I'm going to drag it I'm going to select from the header and drag it to the left of the query so it will be the first column the month name and then date also you can see here I have the close and adjusted close I need only one of these two so let me get rid of the close I'm going to select from the header right click and then remove and finally I want to take the volume to be the first column after the date because when I'm going to draw the chart the stock chart it requires a specific order the order should start with the volume and then the open high then low and close so I'm going to take the volume and drag it to put it just after the date so now I have uh, the data in the correct order I think now everything is going good I can now close and load let me go to home and then close and load close and load to it will open the import data window I need it in the existing worksheet and also in a table let me put it in a15 and then ok my query will be loaded and a, a new table will be created here so the final step is to draw the chart the stock chart so let me start to select my data I'll start with the date column till the end of the column and then I will select till the end of the table and I'm going to insert ribbon and from insert ribbon in the chart area I can select the waterfall then I'm going to select the arrow the small arrow and I'm going to select from the stock area here I want to select the last one and you can see here if you hover over it here you can see the the order that required by this chart is volume open high low and close and this is exactly what we did inside the power query so I'm going to select this chart by mouse and you can see automatically our chart is created but you can see we have a plenty of data we have a lot of data so the chart is almost not readable so I need something to help me to slice and dice or to divide the data into at least month by month so let me select the table here and from table design let me go to insert slicer and I need a slicer uh, on the month name field then click OK it will create this small slicer I can select from slicer August you will see that the table filtered on August and also the chart is now much easier to read because it's focusing only on August I can change my selection we have here December and everything is going very well I can clear the filter from here let me also change the title let me call it Google now I want to add another share so because this report is only for Google let's say that we want also to look at the shares for Facebook company but this time I don't want to repeat all the steps more and more uh, so in this case I can use a very good feature in Power Query I can just select my query from the queries and connection pane and right click and let me select duplicate once I click on duplicate it will open again the Power Query editor and it will create a new copy of my query you can see here and instead of having only one query we have two queries with the same name let me rename this to Facebook share price and you can notice here all the steps that I did in the first query uh, all of them copied to the second query so I'm going to the first step which is the source I'm going to select the source and you can see here a small wheel on the right hand side once I click on this wheel it will open the small window that you can use to change the source of this query as you can see here here is the URL that we used at the beginning so I want to change this URL and just replace it with the Facebook URL and in this case all the steps will be applied let's try this together 
control V to paste the new URL and then I'm going to click on OK the query will connect to the Facebook uh, web page or the Facebook URL inside the finance.yahoo web page and if I select the last step you can see all the steps applied to my new query now I'm ready to close and load I can just select close and load to the same window will open up again import data existing worksheet let me just put it beside the original table and click on ok the new query will be loaded to a table inside the same worksheet now you have the updated numbers for facebook and now if you want to update this data it's very easy you can see in both tables we have data up to 27th of december when the new data came let's say for 28th or 29th you can just use this refresh button for the first query and the same for the second query or you can just select the table and right click and click on refresh you can do the same for both tables or you can go to data and select refresh all in this case the new data will be updated automatically into these two tables you can use the same steps to add a new chart and a slicer for the face book table that was all for today hope that was useful for you if you didn't subscribe yet to the channel please do and like the video if you like it and leave a comment thank you very much for your time and see you in next video and bye